Hello, so today I'm gonna be speaking about a new way to save a game in God of 4.0. So, as you remind uh, before, mm, on 3.45 God of, you declare the variables and then you open a file, you write on it, and you store the string into a JSON. Then you close, well, and then you actually, if the file exists, you open that and read it. So now, um, got out 4.0. You also um, have to declare two functions: the one for saving game and the load game. Declare the variables. And over here, I'm gonna start typing down the function and what comes inside the dictionary of the data that we're gonna store. So here. As you see, um, we are defining the variables that we declare up in the beginning of the um, document of the script. So we are defining them as uh, strings. So uh, strings inside the dictionary. So also, as you see, a prefix of data x i, which is going to be replaced by s um, the path that we're going to save into our um, our hard drive in the computer. So we're going to access the file like this. So we don't create a new file. We access it through this type of code. So we open. then we're gonna create a JSON then we're gonna recognize the JSON string by typing JSON dot stringy five data. Which is gonna read everything uh, clearly as it's written on the uh, document. And then we're gonna store the string. So for loading the game if the file access file exists on the path that we define on the save game then we're gonna um, create a file again file access dot open and we're gonna read this time instead of writing because it's loading the game so we're gonna um, use the data dictionary again and this time we're gonna parse the string file dot get us text And then we're gonna place all of the variables again, followed by well data followed by the variable like this because they are inside of a dictionary.
oh remember that um this is a project that i'm actually porting from 3.5 into 4.0 which has a better performance a better, better quality on regards of uh, visual effects um, everything is performing better way better than on 3.5 so you're gonna load the game at the beginning of the global that we did create it so so right away when this pop up then we're gonna load the game if it exists right away and then um over here we're gonna load that okay so here we go yes so when we press the button on the save scene uh, script we're gonna um, save the game with this path as you see this is the first scene I'm moving here and so I'm stepping up here because that's the save uh, game um, place so it's like a, um, a node where I'm storing the data when I go into it it adds 100 to the goal as you can see here on the top of the screen so I close and I open again and as you see I started on the level 2 and you see that we got 250 goal so I'm opening now as you see um, the user so where is the store uh, well, this not this one. It's the next one. So yeah, once we open Data Global, we're gonna be able to see here the goal and also the level ID, which is what we were storing. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I hope this works and help you you know establishing a safe data structure for your game um thank you so much for watching please subscribe